Hello everyone, this is Jad Last here and welcome to my first commentary guide on multi-killing the runners in the defender role in Barbarian Assault. Now just before we start I'd like to say that the, the multi-kill timings in this guide that I will show you now is based off of the 07 defender guide made famous uh, in 07 runescape by Sheer. So if you do not use this guide the timings may be a little different. However I will show you a, a way to overcome this later on in the video. So um, let's get into it. On screen now you will see the layout of the runner mechanics and this layout was actually first shown to me by Bakey who had most of them in the right place but there was a few that were um, wrongly placed so I did a, a bit of investigation and I can assure you now that this is the correct order and this is the way that runners will behave uh, after they spawn. So as I said it's a 6 second cycle beginning at uh, tick 1 it was 10 ticks, each being 0.6 seconds. In tick 1, the runner will spawn and it will wait. Tick 2, it will target the food provided there is food on the floor. Tick 3 is a blank. Tick 4 is the multi-kill tick. Now this is important and I'll, t I'll discuss why later on. Tick 5 is a blank and tick 6 at 3 seconds, the movement will start. So after spawning, it takes 3 seconds for the runner to move off in either an east, a west or a southern direction. After that there is 3 seconds of movement and then in tick 10 the movement will end and a new runner will spawn provided it can do so. As well as this I should note that it is easier to remember the runner location on the minimap or on the ground than it is uh, actually to time it. So if you are using Shares Defender method all you have to do is just copy exactly what I do in this video and you will have no problem getting the multi kill tick. However if you are using your own defender method or someone else's you might have to time it so that you, you click off at 0.6 seconds and the actual runners eat the food at 1.8 seconds causing the multi kill to happen. So then let's have a look at what happens when the runner comes from the south. As you can see on screen now I'm standing at the trap I would just have to repair it and the runner, this, the last runner has just spawned. It is walking down and what you have to do is make sure as he's hitting off the cannon and he looks to the east you click off and the the character moves off. So here it is again, the runner hits off the cannon, turns east, takes one step to the east and you click away. Make sure to click away as he's looking east and it takes a one step in the east direction. Here it is again for the final time, click, move off, multi -tip. So then, the timing for when the last runner spawns and heads west. As you can see again, I'm at the trap, the last runner has just spawned and has gone west. And you have to be very careful to spot that it goes west, otherwise if you don't, you will not get the multi-kill. So he's gone west, he's stopped to eat at the main stack, and he's coming down now. Now the click is right before the previous one, so you have to click as the runner is bouncing off the cannon. You'll see it here again now, I click just as he's bouncing off the cannon, I move away, and the multi-kill happens. The click, it's very important that you click right as he's bouncing off the cannon. Click, and then he bounces, you move off, and multi kill happens. It's a fraction of a second before the last one. Moving on to when the runner comes from the east then. So, this is slightly different as you have to actually click off before the last runner has entered the stack. So make sure to have your camera facing down so that you can see that spike there. When the runner goes past that spike, you want to click just before he's at the spike so that you move off when the runner is on the spike. Then that means that the runner stacked will multi, just like this, here he is now again. You click off just before the runner's on the spike, you move off when the runner's at the spike, the first three or four runners multi, and then the last one comes in and gets killed as well. So you'll see it again now in slow motion. The runner is coming, click off just before he gets to the spike, when he's at the spike you should be moving away. The first batch of runners get killed and the last one comes in. So finally then let's take a look at what happens when the runner comes from the north. Now because this is a little bit different and it can only happen on wave 10, I've decided to include the whole wave. So what you do is, I run up, I put 3 right food at the trap and one right food by that spike there, slightly to the west of it. Now you wait for the call, when the call happens you call and you drop down a few more food. 
so there's plenty there for the runners to eat. After this you wait for the last runner to spawn and wait until it gets stacked. Now the multi kill timing for this is precisely 0.6 seconds after the stack. So here it is, the last runner is coming up. You have to wait 0.6 seconds, click off and then the multi kill will happen. Now that is quite hard at first but it takes practice. An easier way is just as soon as the runner comes in you count to 1, you click and the multi kill happens. As I said again, practice it, count to one, click, it feels like one second, it's not 0.6 seconds but it does feel like one second. Finally then, just a few things to note, this can happen sometimes if the second last runner spawns and heads west and the last runner spawns and heads south, because the second last runner has gone west and then has to stop at the main stack and eat, it will actually come at the trap last, so it looks like it's the last runner but it is in fact the second last runner when this happens all you have to do is either time it so that the, the last runner which is in fact the second last runner is killed as a westy multi kill or the second last runner which is in fact the last runner is killed as a normal multi kill from the south apart from that it is all down to practice so just keep at it keep doing it over and over again you will eventually get them all and you will have no problems multi-killing at all. It took me, as I said, it took me quite uh, a long time to get to the, the way I am comfortable with multi-killing from any angle, but I mean, with practice, you can get anything. So if you've enjoyed the guide, feel free to give it a like, share it with people who are keen to learn, and stay tuned for more.